Welcome to TradeTheMBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 23rd of April. And the continuation, uh, pretty much as we expected here, we're still within a very strong upside power here. No short uh, strength whatsoever. Uh, Short-term buyers regained a little bit, and that's why we've held this uh, ABM yellow and just bounced around it. It's not quite giving us enough impetus without the shorts to drive um, further, but we're still in the continuation of that gold rising here, even though we've had a little bit of a reset of the shakeout, which really isn't problematic given the fact that you're looking at that magenta at plus 20 on a daily. Think about what we see on an intraday when it gets above plus 15. Um, yeah, that's crazy. It's impressive. And likewise, NASDAQ repeating the same thing, and that momentum is still there. Um, it's not a whole lot you can add to that. It's just uh, what it is. Still, I think the ranges have been decent. Uh, we've seen some nice activity with it. You got nothing happening with the euro. It's sort of like a dead zone for news. Everything else is sort of quiet now that uh, some of the political wrangling, I mean, obviously is always going to go on, but it's not causing uh, some kind of immediate threat to whether or not the stability of things will stay. And therefore, pro-growth policies are in place. And <laughs> who's going to complain about that? Um, the reality is you've got pro-growth, but you've got no inflation, though we are starting to see oil uh, making a move, and I think that could be a portent for gold coming forward here. We just have to see some kind of movement uh, on a reset because nobody seems all that interested in playing that game. So we can see from the early futures that we had that uh, little dip that we were following. We had a continuation zone. You can see how perfectly that works, and then boom, the orange dip below. And with a nice crossover deep below the red line right there, it popped up and it led to a nice little pop, a bunch of sideways action going through until, uh, well, here we are uh, right up at the peak where we produced uh, another series of little the magenta bars here, which kind of indicated that DOC spread. One developed right here. Uh, to look at that one because that's really not a whole lot of anything. It was more... Um, bullish than anything we were still in a crossover uh, continuation so I don't know that the break should have uh, occurred on this one so I'll take a look at that and see what uh, happened there because it doesn't really make any sense given what we're used to seeing so but all in all I think that uh, this movement has just been consistent with everything that we've seen from the readings, but you can see, you know, anywhere from that uh, 2015 range all the way down to 29, it's still plenty of points to work with. So from an intraday standpoint, fantastic daily, it just sort of looks like everything's going sideways uh, for a while, but that's all right. That's a good consolidation that helps the market uh, stabilize, absorb, and creates a whole new uh, set of opportunities. And again, a lot of this, uh, you know, you hear about the talk of uh, share buybacks and things like that. This is what really sustains uh, a lot of this growth uh, as far as price goes, because you have an underpinning of floor where companies like to buy back their shares and think they're getting a discount. Um, and it just becomes a modus operandi for a lot of them. I think they're going to be spending what, over a trillion dollars this year just buying back shares. So that, uh, you can't ignore that because that's their free cash flow that they're using. Um, strange because you might argue that it would be better invested, but what they're saying is there really isn't anywhere to go with that investment other than to buy back their own stock. So uh, maybe they've reached a bit of a capacity at this particular time. Uh, until either there's new consumer growth or some technological advancement that will generate some kind of change, you know. Um, no, it was just, I'm just thinking about it because it's funny because I know from even like an Apple standpoint, uh, they came up with their new AirPods and um, I know my girls were looking for them and boom, sold out. So, it's, you know, these are those little things. It's not... Uh, anything significant, but it's kind of an empirical idea. of Consumers are still buying things, and as long as they continue to do that, that's the underpinning of uh, the growth aspect, and as long as there's um, that feeling that they're willing to go ahead and freely spend, psychology is everything, and uh, the same with the markets. So at this particular point, the, you know, despite whatever people complain about this valuation, lowered earnings, blah, 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 Perception is everything, and at this particular point, that's pro-growth, and that means um, 
supports are likely to hold until we see some kind of breakdown in the readings. And this, we'll see it from the algos. This, it'll be plain and clear on our DOC. So we'll wait for any change to happen. Otherwise, we just go with what is. And I will put up uh, relevant charts on Skype chat. As always, trade well.